This is 2008 AMC 12A problem 13. Points A and B lie on a circle centered at O, and they are telling us the central angle AOB is equal to 60 degrees. And for the sake of making it easy on ourselves, let's draw the circle. <laughs> that, that kind of squeezed the circle, but let's go with it. And let's call this the center O. And you have angle AOB measuring 60 degrees. So you have angle AOB, and you know this measures 60 degrees. Maybe 30, 60, 90 triangle is going to pop up. But let's keep that in mind and read on. A second circle is internally tangent to the first and tangent to both OA and OB. That's telling you the circle looks like this. It's tangent to OA, it's tangent to OB, it's tangent to the circle. So it's a circle that fits right in, touching every single one of this side and a curve at one point. So it looks like this, touching this at one point, touching this at one point, touching this at one point. Okay, and we wish to find the ratio of the area of the smaller circle to the ratio of the larger circle. And whenever you have a ratio question, it is usually easier if you let one of the areas or, or one of the size be one of the area be one, just so we don't have to worry about the variables and how they cancel out and all of that. And making something equal to one usually helps us see what we have to do quickly. So. I'm going to let the radius of the small circle be 1. So radius of the circle is going to be 1. And once we find the radius of the large circle, we should be able to get this question right. And what I'm going to do, since you know this is this is the tangent, you know this has to be 90 degrees because a line tangent to the circle intersects the radius at a 90 degree angle. I'm not going to prove it in this video, but you can prove it using contradiction is how I would do it using Pythagorean theorem. But in this video, I'm going to assume that you know about it and continue on. And let me draw the side lengths. And you have 30, 60, 90 triangle as we said we may have. This triangle is 30, 60, 90 triangle. Let me redraw that triangle a bit, a bit larger. So you have a side length of 1, and since you're splitting 60 degrees, now that's 30 degrees, and you have 60 degrees. So you know this part has to be 2. So you know this length from here to here has to be 2. So you know this length has to be 2. Okay, that's very good, but we want to find the entire radius. We want to find, let's call it x, we want to find the radius of circle O, the larger circle. And you know the, the entire distance all the way to here from, so I'm talking about the distance from O to this, this intersection point. This distance has to be x because x is the radius, as we said. So you know this portion, this little portion, let me make that red. This little portion has to be x minus 2. This little portion has to be x minus 2. Let me make sure we understand why. Because the entire length from here to here, so the entire segment, the segment right here, has length of x, and we want to find x. And you know this portion, this portion from here to here has length 2. So the portion highlighted in red, this portion has to have the length x minus 2. And you know that's the radius of the small circle, which we let be 1. So you know the radius of the larger circle has to be 3. So let's find the answer now. You want to find the ratio of the area of the smaller circle, which is pi times radius squared, 1 squared, or just pi. And the area of the larger circle is pi times radius squared or 9 pi. So the, so the our ratio is going to be pi over 9 pi, which is 1 ninth. So the answer to this question is B.